Hey folks, this is Carl from the RO Bucket, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to unpack and use your RB15, which is uh, currently our largest um, bucket offered. Um, a lot of people like it. It's 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 the fastest one we offer. It'll do 15 to 20 gallons per hour. Um, you know, the only downsides to it is it, it's a little tight in the bucket. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, asking me questions about um, you know how to take it apart and uh, how to make it a little easier to use. So I'm going to run you through that. So when you first get it, <clears throat> um, it's going to come shipped just like this. Uh, this here is your plug connector, um, where the transform water plug in to run the pump. So just carefully slice the tape, peel it back. Inside this, there's going to be an electrical connector. Carefully take that out. Uh, make sure you don't cut it when you do that. Uh, I'll have my business card in there, so give me a call or shoot me an email if you have any questions. Um, once you get into your bucket, <clears throat> just take the coiled up hoses out and kind of put them off to the side. And there's going to be three uh, hoses that come out of it. One is the intake. I'm going to start shipping the intake hose with an extension connector um, on the house. So you'll have that in case you need to uh, you know, make a longer tube to go into your sap bucket. I don't recommend going over 10 feet unless you have head pressure, like unless you're pulling from the bottom of a bolt tank or something like that. So that's your intake tube. Uh, it'll even be labeled I wrote intake on it, so you'll be able to see that. The smaller of the other two hoses on the other side is your concentrated sap connector. That will also be shipped with a uh, um, connector so that you can uh, adapt that. And then your <coughs> excuse me, water discharge hose. All right, so just put those off to the side. If you did order an auto shutoff valve at the time of purchase, that will be in there as well. You can go ahead and take that out. Um, it'll come clipped together. This will plug into the fitting, the pump transformer fitting at the bottom of the bucket. So you'll have that. Um, to use this, if you watch my other video, it'll show you. But this would go before the needle valve. So you'd pull your needle valve off, you'd connect it, and then you get another little piece of hose and hook it back in. And uh, I have instructions on how to use that valve on my website if you want to check that out. So, <clears throat> um, in terms of using the bucket, you can get your transformer out of there. These will ship, okay, there's an extra pre-filter in here stored inside, and the transformer is usually stored inside as well. So what you're going to need to do, all right, is go ahead and unhook your water filter housing using the push connects. Once you remove that, you'll have access to the inside of the bucket. You can pull your transformer out right here. And then these two hoses are now loose, right? See, they run right through the plate. So you can actually pick this whole thing up and have access to your whole bucket. Pull the extra pre-filter out. This would be what you would do if you needed to maintain it or change the filter or anything. Or if there were a slight leak you'd have to fix, that's, that's what, obviously what you would want to do. So it looks kind of complicated, like there's a lot of fittings and stuff, but once you get that water filter out, it's actually really easy to get in there and, uh, and do what you got to do. Now one suggestion I would make to you is before you pull this out, is I would take a Sharpie and mark the index, mark an index line on your plate and your bucket so that you know where to set this back in so that you'll have enough clearance when you put your pre-filter back in again. All right? And again, as you're using it throughout the season, you know, same thing, pop the pre-filter, open it up, change your pre-filter out, pop it back in, line up your index mark, hook your filter back in, you'll be ready to go. Um, I'll have more videos later showing you how to take care of your membranes at the end of the season. Thanks.